Okay, hey guys, this is Martin from How To Make Mobile Games on October the 30th, 2014. I'm gonna do a video here about uh, some gaming in China. I was in the internet bar just a moment ago and walking through there the other day. So I thought I'd make a video on this and just sort of show you guys how people play in China. So I'll come and join me. So I think Dota is a big is a big game here. Hello. So this game Dota here is really big in China. I see this plane everywhere, but you can see I'm trying not to speak too loud here in case they have a problem with me filming. Um, but there's a lot of computers in here. Huh? Shipping busing. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, so they said that basically I can't um, do a video in here, which is a little strange. But anyway, uh, I just wanted to show you guys and share it a little bit because um, I wanted to show you more, but I didn't know whether they'd let me do the video or not. But that's how Chinese players play. Basically, uh, this is their version of an arcade. There's loads of these all over China in every town. Uh, Jam-packed and op usually open 24-7 as well. And uh, that's the majority of game players in China, is they do it this way. They play on PC-based games, uh, online, usually that, that Dota game. I don't know if it's called Dota, though. Uh, a lot of CS, Counter-Strike, uh, some other games as well. But the big ones I always see are Dota. Uh, for one hour, it costs like three to five RMB in that one. And that's around, uh, oh God, what is that? Six, is that 60 cents? About 60 cents for one hour. Uh, and a lot of kids have spent a lot of time in there. And it's been a bit of a problem in China recently. It's got a lot of attention uh, because kids are spending a huge amount of time and spending their parents' money on hanging out in those web bars. Uh, I'm actually a little bit jealous of it as well because I love arcades and they hang out there with their friends and play games all day long. And I wish I could do that with my friends, just fucking go to uh, an arcade and then um, just play Street Fighter 2 all day or Halo or something like that with my friends. And that would be so, so awesome. So I'm jealous when I see these guys hanging out here because it's not just the fact that they have the internet connected in there with a fast connection. It's also a social experience. And even though they're not chatting very much because obviously they're you know, focused on the game or whatever they're doing on the computer. They're still hanging out with people that have a, uh, you know, um, uh, similar interests, you know? They're hanging out with other gamers who love the game and want to play the game. And man, I'm so jealous, really. I'd love that because when I was a kid, uh, that was sort of my, uh, it's there up there, guys. Because uh, when I was a kid, I, I really enjoyed just hanging out with friends and playing games together in the same room. And I've not done that in such a long, long time. And so that's the kind of Chinese version of an arcade up there. Uh, internet bars are very popular. Uh, although I heard that the Xbox One is now becoming legal here in China. And so that might be the next big thing, maybe. But I don't know. I think they're kind of expensive. PCs are still pretty cheap. So I don't know if that's going to take off. But there's the social experience of the web, uh, the internet bar anyway. So uh, I was very surprised they didn't let me like, film in there, though. That's strange, I didn't know they had such rules in China. Uh, anyway. So, I'm gonna head back to my car now, guys, do some more work. Uh, please always tap that like button, subscribe, that helps me a lot. Thank you so much for all the support. I'm gonna do some more videos soon. And uh, share some, some advertising, money, revenue stuff as well. So, but I'll speak to you all soon, okay, bye-bye.